Hi, Ali from Alice Stitcher Fingers here. This is the uh, Multi Rule One, and uh, I'm going to do a quick video today just to show you some of the things you can do with this ruler. Right, I've got my ruler foot on, I've got my slidey mat on, I've got my gloves on, and I've got my machine set about halfway on the speed. Um, I've worked out, because I've done this a couple of times now, and I've worked out that to get this so you can do a continual um, piece of stitching without having to break the threads, start at one of the edges and you get a lovely finish in the middle. So because I'm starting at the edge, I don't have to bring my threads up. You can if you want to, but what I'm going to do is, you see this line here on the ruler, and another thing, if you've got the non-sticky bits on your ruler, just put another piece of quilting underneath, just stop it from scratching your mat. So I'm lining up this um, line here onto this centre of my get off centre of my uh, piece. It won't come off that. Right, there we've done it. And I can see it's the centre because I've got this line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my thread out of the way. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure you can move your your work underneath the foot nice and smoothly. And I'm going to start with my foot down. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting pressure onto the ruler to hold it onto the fabric but not too much that I can't move the work. I'm holding the sides of the ruler with my finger and my thumb and you, most of you know I've had problems with my hand, I've just had an operation. So if I can do it you shouldn't have any problems. So try and go, you can even go this slow if you're not sure what you're doing, you know it's not a problem. Don't rush, enjoy what you're doing. Always stop with the needle down. I'm just going to move my foot, it's a different there we go. Just move that work out of the way. So now I'm just going to come round and stop at this other piece that's jutting out. You'll notice that I'm on my little brother machine. Um, I wanted to show you the difference between using a low shank machine and a high shank machine. With the high shank I could actually get my ruler right in here because I've got a lovely throat space. On here obviously I can't and it doesn't mean to say you can't use these um, rulers, it just means you use them differently. So now I'm lining up with the um, line on my quilting again and I'm going to go around and this will give me a lovely little pattern in the corner here. So just. Hold that steady. I'll move that out of the way because I don't really need it on this piece. Again, go as slow or as quick as you're comfortable with. That is something that will um, grow with you as you uh, practice more. So I'll come all the way around and you'll notice I'm moving the work and the ruler. That's what you have to do with the low shank machine. When I remove that, you can see you've got that lovely pattern in the corner. It's a variegated thread I'm using, so that's why I've got those um, changes in colour in my thread. So now I'm going to line it up again on this line here. It stitches a quarter of an inch away from the edge of that ruler foot. Don't try and do this with your normal rulers. These rulers have been designed and manufactured to be the right height to work with this ruler foot. I can work with my foot going up the edge there but I've got all this clear here so what I'm going to do is put my spare bit of practice work on, put my ruler against this edge again and I'm going to go back to where we started. Now I can, you can see I'm about a good couple of mil away so all I'm going to do is just travel till I get to that point there and then carry on. Always stop, put your needle down when you're uncomfortable and then we're back to the beginning. So I can actually break off now and go on to the next piece. So you can see I've not had to break off anywhere in the middle and it's given me lovely stitches in the corners. So now I would start again at this corner here and work all the way around. So, oops, a wrong way. I need to start at this side, sorry about that. Line it up at the edge. I'm going to put my needle down and I'm going to put that piece underneath so I don't scratch my slippy mat. And then carry on. You'll notice I am turning both work and ruler. 
and it's not a problem to do this make it comfortable for yourself back into this line here oops i've run out of bobbin thread underneath to save me going over that all over again i will show you one that's finished so you can see the results that you get and this is a, a pot stand for putting your hot plates on or uh, a pan so you can see you've got that lovely central part there and it turns into a lovely um, pattern on your pot stand <laughs> 